channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you don't know me, I'm Victoria. I'm a part-time reseller and stay-at-home mom. I sell on Poshmark while I stay at home with my sweet, sweet daughter. And um, today I have a Marshall haul for you. So some people don't really participate in retail arbitrage. Some people do. It's totally up to you. Um, I've had pretty good experience with it and like I've said in past videos, I have somewhat limited options um, in my town, but we do have a roster of Marshalls, and so it's a good way to get my hands on some higher end stuff. Um, and today, my husband took me out to Marshalls just for fun, and I ended up finding quite a bit of stuff, so I thought I would show you what I got, what I paid for it, and kind of in the realm of what I'm hoping to get for it. I haven't run comps on everything yet, so this is all very ballpark, but I will show you what I got, so let's just get straight into it. The first thing I picked up, I didn't look up comps at all. The reason I picked it up was because it was yellow tag, and, um, okay, they say yellow tag, so you can see here, this was $2. <laughs> they say yellow tag is the final sale. However, you can see, like, red tag is the original clearance, but there's four yellow tags on here, so they were really trying to get rid of this pair. Um, so it might not be final, final, or maybe, I don't know, I don't know how they do it, but it was yellow tag, so I knew it was about to be the end. Um, the bummer thing about this is you can see the original tag from the actual brand <laughs> is gone, um, but it's just Gap, which isn't a great brand, but I mean, that's thrift store pricing, and these I know for a fact are new without tags. They might be a return, that might be why the, the brand tag is gone, I'm not sure, but um, I'm trying to button them up, but I can't get it. Okay, so anyway, you want to see what I got. So, here are these pink, I don't even know what style of pants this is, but they're like pleated in the front, they've got pockets, kind of like genie fit almost, kind of tapered toward the bottom. Um, they're super light, like blush pink. They're really pretty, and they're a really soft, comfortable material. I think they'd be great office wear. Um, I'm not sure what material it is. Let's see. Here's the material tag. Let's find out together. They are... Okay, they are 100% rayon. So, again, not like super high quality, but I'm hoping for 15 to 20 bucks for these, and I don't mind that at all when it comes to something that I paid two dollars for. They're a little more springy, but um, with something that low cost, I really don't mind holding on to it. It's also like pretty small. It's not going to take up a lot of room. I like to get things moving, don't get me wrong, but with retail arbitrage, a lot of times too, you're going to be buying from the season that just passed, because that's what's on clearance. It makes sense. So if you're willing to hang on to it, you can really get a lot more. If you watch the channel here on YouTube, common tags, I feel horrible, I cannot for the life of me remember her name right now, which is crazy because I watch her all the time, but she talked about one time buying several of the same item and selling them um, for a pretty low cost right away because she's not the only one with a Marshall, so everybody was buying them, right? And the market was oversaturated, but she held on to one of them for a year as an exper experiment and it sold very quickly for like twice the price she originally had. Um, so yeah, so it might be worth holding on to some of this stuff. So just, if you're gonna do retail arbitrage, maybe keep that in mind. You know, it depends what your strategy is. I'll try to get rid of this stuff pretty quick. I'd rather take a lower profit, but um, it's just something to keep in mind, especially if you don't get a lot of interest, like hold out hope for the next season, it'll be okay. Um, Okay, so a lot of these I have doubles on, and they're all in this bag crazy, so when I get to the doubles, I'll just throw it to the side, but the first item I got was this Calvin Klein wallet, it's like this little wristlet, it's got the little strap, little pockets there, and then the inside just has like two separate pouches, and a little zipper pouch, um, and then... In the back, it's got like a few, you can't really see, but a few little spots for credit cards there. So, um, yeah, cute, simple little wallet. And let's see, I paid $18 a piece for these. The MSRP is $78. So, my strategy, I think it's worth mentioning, is I take the MSRP and I take one third of it, and that's what I expect to get. So on 80, oh lordy, okay, 
so maybe like 23 bucks or so um, that's not super high but it's enough that I feel comfortable with it I really expect it to be more like 40 to 50 to even 60 percent is what I get but I like to estimate on 30 percent so that I don't get myself into hot water <laughs> and lose money on an item so if I'm paying like 25% or less of the MSRP, I'm pretty comfortable with it as long as it's a known brand and a popular item and obviously there's no flaws or anything, which most of this there's not, but it's still worth a quick look because I have seen stuff that's just gotten scratched up in the store. So, okay, and then just another one of those I grabbed. I grabbed two of these Steve Madden um, fanny pack style purses see there they're like this navy blue quilted the msrp on these is 68 and they've i've seen them on clearance several times i've seen that they're not very popular but i got it for six dollars so i thought i'll grab a couple of those even if they don't sell that is twelve dollars i'm out that's not a big deal so the next thing i grabbed was two more fanny packs i got two of these guys um msrp is thirty dollars Two of these fanny packs, four dollars a piece, thirty dollar MSRP. I'm hoping for like maybe twelve bucks to fifteen bucks a piece. They're adorable. I freaking love that. But it's um not a I don't know if it's a well known brand. I didn't know it. Um, it's Mundy, and it didn't seem nearly as popular. So, all right. Okay, so the next item I grabbed, I have two of them in two different colors. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to say this brand. I've actually sold it before, but I cannot pronounce that. So I have a silver and a black of this guy. It's this little charging pouch. Um, you can see the inside is super cute, like little floral, and it's got um, just like a pocket or it's like a wallet. It's got these pockets for your credit cards and then this separate little pouch um, that's like a battery pack and a little USB, micro USB, and put that on and it's an iPhone charger. So it's a really cool little item. I mean, super neat. It's compatible with a di bunch of different kinds of phones, so really great for like traveling and stuff. Um, and I'm sure the USB is like, you can charge up that little battery pack, but anyway, so yeah, I got a silver and a black. MSRP is $60 on these. I paid $10 a piece and I'm hoping to get like 20 to 25 a piece. Um, this one, I only got one because I could only find one. Um, Michael Kors little kind of pouch wallet. Show you the inside here. Just got spots for your credit cards. A separate little pouch there. You've got your little care card in there. So, and then, so it's pretty basic. I'm not sure how this one's going to do, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but the other stuff was, oh, this is Michael Michael Kors. All this Michael Kors is Michael Michael Kors, which I think is a little lower end, but it's still very nice stuff. So um, MSRP was $98. I got it for $26, and we'll see how it does. I'm hoping for $50, um, maybe $40, maybe $30, and I'll barely make my money back. Maybe I'll end up returning it to the store. I'm not sure, so I'll keep you posted. But it's super cute, really nice, and very soft leather. Okay, finally, I grabbed two of the same bag in two different colors. It was the last two they had. These are full-size Michael Kors purses. And they're kind of like, I think this is called like a bucket bag. I don't know if I'm using that term <laughs> improperly, though, so tell me in the comments below if I am. But little zipper pocket, pocket pocket, and MSRP on these was $248, and I grabbed them for $52 a piece, oh, upside down, $52 a piece, so I 
am hoping for about a hundred dollars a piece for these. I'm hoping there'll be a pretty good return, um, and that's still a great deal for the buyer. I mean, it's less than half the MSRP. So grab that, and then I grab the same deal in black and cute little bangle. Um, yeah, that's everything I grabbed. So I spent quite a bit of money. I'm hoping my returns will be good. Maybe I'll keep you updated a little bit with how it all does. I think it's a little more intimidating for people because it's such a large investment to do retail arbitrage, but, um, sorry, I keep checking on my daughter down on the floor. I think it's well worth it. I've had a really good experience with it. That's not to say I've done a ton, and that's not to say that it couldn't go bad in the future. So I will let you know. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. If you've got anything to say, please leave it in the comments down below. If you can teach me stuff, please teach me stuff. Um, I love to hear it. I love to learn from you guys. So leave me a um, thumbs up if you liked it. Um, subscribe down below if you would like to see more content like this. And I will be back soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching.